today I'm going to discuss cognitive overload. So before I worked in an environment where I knew terms like Hicks Law and two words like cognitive overload, as a creative I used to look at things and be hellish confused about like where to focus. So it was very natural for me to just strip stuff away. And the more I stripped stuff away and simplified things, the easier I got through the work and I could then start to get a vision of what a website or an app or anything was going to look like. Since then, I've hung around with a bunch of very smart people and, and read a lot of smart stuff. And there is such a thing as Hicks Law. And Hicks Law is how long it took people to sort through information to achieve a goal. And as they figured stuff out, they realized that your brain only has so much capacity. I think it's something like seven, your brain can only focus on like seven things at any given time, plus two, minus two, just, just depending. But give or take seven, seven things. And what happens is your brain goes and, and spots things and it focuses and it gives them all a little bit of a, attention. And if you have any more than that, you, you get like hellish confused. So when you're designing interfaces, you know, to have these huge mega menus and that are just like a really bunches of links or whatever that aren't really organized, gets really confusing for people. A solution to that is to simplify your menus to roughly seven different categories and within those categories you then have sub menus if you need so for example if you went to a restaurant and you had this huge menu that had like a million things all over it your brain would just be scattered and it'd be really hard for you to decide and i'm sure we've all felt that it's overwhelming the wait is there you're feeling the pressure and you've got to decide on something but if you went and you broke that menu up, which is quite a common practice to just say, hey, this is the meats, this is the vegetarian dishes, this is the pastas, whatever. You break it up like that and it's easier for people to then go and pinpoint what it is exactly that they want. So the next time that um, you get told to put like everything in a design, you need to, at the very least, just go and try and organize things in a way that you have categories and subcategories within that so that it's just easier for people to figure themselves out and you might get a lot of pushback from other people but then you can play it in this video or you can uh, go and give them some reading about cognitive overload and Hicks law. So I didn't make any videos this weekend for myself. I was helping a friend with their video and it took up most of Saturday to pull together and editing all of Sunday and getting all the assets ready for YouTube. Yeah, I just didn't have time to shoot something for myself. And I would love to share stuff every day and I'm the one who's putting that goal out there. Nobody's putting any pressure on me, but it's what I want to do. But I am coming to the realization that I kind of do things when I want to do things, when I have capacity to do things. I'm not lazy. I'm not ambitious. I'm not kind of dropping the ball here because it's not really affecting anybody at this stage. And, and uh, I think that I need to be a little gentle with myself. And then I've also come to the realization that I actually just like to create. So I thoroughly enjoyed this weekend working on somebody else's video. I like to be behind the camera instead of in front of the camera, probably more. Although, you know, I really have all these thoughts and all the stuff that I want to unpack. So I am trying to figure out like, what is a simpler way for me to get my messages out there. I kind of like the setup where I have now, where I've just I'm chilling in front of a white wall and, and that's it. Maybe there's better ways to do things. I've seen a lot of guys really like kit out of studio. I don't really want to do that right now. It's not like where my head's at, but 
I do want to find like an easy, clean way to just talk to you, get all this design thinking out of my head and hopefully inspire you and motivate you and you know give you some useful information and so yeah there might be days that i don't make videos and you'll just have to forgive me most importantly i'll probably have to forgive myself but i just want to do kind of clear that up just in case these people are wondering like what am i doing um I'll, i think i'm in that place where i tried once a week it didn't work i've tried like every day i haven't been able to pull off a solid week yet and so i'm just gonna make movies when i feel like making movies and i'm gonna try and find an optimal way because i don't think at this stage people really care about like what i do i'm not doing anything terribly exciting uh, i'm mostly working from home and so I don't see that like I have enough places in my house to really record things so this is what I'm doing anyway I'm starting to waffle now I'm actually gonna try and make my video shorter so I guess that's a wrap my name is Craig Jameson thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool